When Janet Fetter uh, comes to perform, uh, she brings not just her guitar and a pick, but a small tin that is filled with accoutrements. Yeah. I mean, you've got small metal objects. Small yeah. metal objects yeah. can be added to a guitar. You've got uh, horse hair that can be added. I see little rings, clips. Yeah, I hit, and uh, other things. Other yeah. things. Other things. <laughs> yes. Other things. This is very dicey. I never really know if it's going to work or not. And this is a bird sound? So, I, yeah, I was trying to imitate a bird sound. And how are you achieving that? Um, this is some bicycle inner tube. <laughs> that you're rubbing that against rubbing the strings. I'm rubbing against the strings. It can... It gets can almost a harmonic bigger. quality. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to talk more about how you create some of the sounds that you do. Sure. And I'd like to focus on the horse hair okay. you brought. As we were setting up... Uh, you were tying this this horsehair to one of the strings. What, right. What do you create sound-wise with that? I mean, I can I can also stroke it independently. Um, I started putting things on, ex on my strings and experimenting with this sort of on a dare from someone very close to me who just sort of left me with this sort of idea one day like, well, doesn't anybody ever do anything like this? And I started experimenting. I took, I unwound the string, one of the strings, and I put a, I put 50 different little African brass beads on there thinking, well, it, they rattle on other instruments that might sound interesting rattling on my guitar, and it just sounded terrible. 50 so, is a lot. It was a lot, and it was, <laughs> sort of, it was a big stack of these little brass beads, and it wasn't that cool. And then um, I took them off by increments, and then I ended up with one on the string, and it sounded like this, and I really, I really liked this sound. And, and the, that, the note languishes. It does. It's almost, it's not doing anything differently, really, than when I stroke the string without a bead on it, but we can hear it better for some reason. One more time. Sure. What I ended up with is this particular sound was so cool, but the string falling to the bridge, or the bead falling to the bridge wasn't really working for me. I had to figure out a way to sort of keep it in place. So I tried a bunch of different things, and I ended up using very small split rings, like what you have your keys on, but very smaller versions. And I put that on the string behind the bead, and so now it sounds like this. <laughs> I love that. And it's, it, it's really supernatural, actually. It's kind of, it's, it's a sound not normally associated with the guitar, for sure. 